A very warm welcome to Monza in Italy for an evening of top-class European volleyball and a trophy on the line as home side uh, Mintvero Volley Monza go head-to-head -head with Polish side Project Vysawa in the second leg of the CV European Challenge Cup final. It's all on the line tonight with Vysawa coming into tonight's matchup as favourites to take the title after winning the opening leg by three sets to one. And that's the route that both these teams have made through to the final. For Monza, a win over the Turkish side Galatasaray. And for Vasava, a win over Ekaer Volley of Finland. And now they are here to do it all again. Vasava winning three sets to one in leg one, but it's never say never for Monza. If they can win 3-0 or 3-1, they can still claim this trophy via the drama of a golden set. If Vasava can claim two sets, then the title is theirs. Thanks for joining us here on Eurovolley TV. We are in the magnificent Arpiquad Arena. And Simon Golding with you for tonight's showdown in a match that could still go the distance. In the white then, the visitors. There's the MVP from game one. Ukraine middle blocker Yuri Semenyuk with a fabulous 15 points. He was on fire in leg one and Project Vysava were brilliant at home, producing a really solid and almost error-free performance to hand Monza a shock defeat. Olympic champion France's Kevin Tilly, Polish international setter Jan Fierle of Poland's Arthur Sharpuk. Uh, game one MVP, as I mentioned, middle blocker Yuri Semenyuk. They were the driving force behind Vysava's commanding win in game one. Can the team deliver again for young coach Piotr Graber tonight to claim what will be a fantastic trophy? There's the skipper for Monza. Anyway, very briefly, Thomas Beretta. There's USA international Taylor Avril. And there's the opposite in the number 31 top, Arthur Schwartz of Canada. One of three Canadians, incidentally, playing for Monza. Monza, by their own admittance, were put on the back foot by Vasari in leg one but they have the international quality to take a drastic comeback victory tonight. Canadian trio, Eric Lutke, Arthur Schwartz and Stephen Marnie to go big again. And we'll wait to see if Japanese superstar Ran Takahashi plays a role for your coach in your picture there, Massimo Ekili. And he was on the bench for leg one, but surely will feature tonight. We will see. Coach Massimo Ekili will, of course, trust Brazilian setter Fernando Kreling, known as Gachopa, the little one to run a good side out show but can Monza put together a blocking pack to stop that Vasava offence quick shot there of uh, Piotr Graban the head coach who formerly worked with IBB Piotr Polonia London with their magnificent Champions League efforts uh, a few seasons ago before returning to the country of his birth and taking on more pro duties but worked very well under Bartek Wush and uh, Chris Hickiel at Polonia, London. But here in this magnificent atmosphere, it's a chance for silverware from this Polish club. They are very similar to Monza, you know, the way the team is set up. It's a group of athletes that when you first looked at the team at the start of the season, you maybe didn't put them in the running for silverware. But my goodness me, the two teams have fitted together so well. In the blue, on the home side, looking to feast off this uh, atmosphere that the crowd are creating here in the Opi Quad. And they need to be big. They need to avoid errors tonight. There's no room really for a slip up. As Eric Luck, he said in his press conference earlier this week, they really caught us out. They are such a good team. They are so tight. Made a few errors and just kept coming at them. And here is the Project Vasava lineup. Keep an eye on the likes of Linus Weber. He probably needs to go big in that opposite position. Kevin Tilly is the glue that holds it all together, makes them tick. Jan Ferre at setter is going to be looking to distribute as well. Big time tonight. He, he ran a really good offence in game one with lots of players cashing in. And for Mint Vera Volley, well, the question is. Will Ran Takahashi play tonight? Likely to be Gachopa starting in that setting position. Schwartz in the opposite slot. And then will Galassi make a return alongside Di Martino in that middle hitting position? We will see. 
Wow, it is a stunning noise here in the Oppi Quad, and uh, quite rightly so. This Challenge Cup is a big win and a big aim for both these teams and probably the best chance of silverware for both squads. It is Vassava that have the upper hand on this man, Massimo Ekeli's Monza team. But Ekeli will have a plan. He's had a good look at this uh, Vassava squad now after last week. And he will come into this match with plenty of options for his team. I tell you what, Thomas Birete, the uh, Monza captain, is not looking too happy tonight. Sorgaban, the opposite coach to Massimo Achille, very young man, still at 38 years of age, making his way in the professional game. And a chance here to really send out a message. The smiles then before the concluding leg. Number seven, Stephen Marr, one of those three Canadians involved tonight. And there's a Canadian connection on the other side of the net as well. Kevin Tilley played his university volleyball at Thompson Rivers University, TRU Wolfpack, back in the day. So before we meet our lineups, it'll be the visiting team on the floor first. Let's meet our referees. Suleiman Yatsin, first referee from the Netherlands and second referee from Switzerland, Vladimir Simonovic. So our two officials in place. What will be a big night? Will Semenyuk go big again? 15 points for a middleman. That is a hell of a return and that's what got him MVP. He was relentless in leg one. Time for the lineups then. And let's see who Piotr Graban will want to go with for this Project Vasava team. It will be Polish international setter Jan Fielek. Saw him in action for Poland during the course of the summer on the VNL. He's joined by Kevin Tilly, French Olympic champion outside hitter. Semenyu, of course, gets the start. He was wonderful in game one. Arthur Schadpuk, 15 points for him. He played brilliantly, the Polish wing spiker. Number 18 is Damian Wojciszek, the Libro. So Sharpuk and Tilly outside. Boaj is opposite Fiele setting. And then through the middle, Semenyuk, the giant. Now then, for Monza. All sorts of options for them, although this is a relatively small squad. Ekeli, the coach, has some interchangeable players to run out there. It will be the two Canadians left side, Eric Lubke and Stephen Marr, which means Ranta Kahashi likely to start the game on the bench. A return for Gianluca Galassi, who didn't really feature in game one, Italian international middle and world championship winner. Gabriele Di Martino is usually ever present, fellow middle blocker with Arthur Schwartz of Canada opposite. So Lubke and Marr, two Canadians outside, Schwartz, the third Canadian opposite with uh, Gachopa at setter, the Brazilian international, and Galassi and Di Martino go out wide. Well, great lineup, Piotr Graban looking really psyched up actually ahead of this one. He's a little calmer there, but he gave his uh, team a serious send off to get them on court. Andre Vroida is the other middle that I didn't mention earlier 31 years or 33 years of age, eight points in game one. And there's Massimo Achille, the head coach of this monster team. Fourth season with this side. Olympic champion Kevin Tilly enjoying the atmosphere. And really, I'm sure, looking forward to the challenge ahead. Can he bring home some silverware for his new club, having signed from Tours VB in France in the off-season? It is buzzing in the Oppi quad. Referees are ready to go. Both lineups are ready to go. In the CEV Volleyball Challenge Cup final. Second leg. Monza have to win it. 3 0 or 3 1 to force the issue to a golden set. And it will be 
got Chopper, the Monza setter to serve first. Away we go, in the blue, Minfero Volley Monza, the home side here in the Opi Quad. About to restart the second leg of their challenge against the team that beat them so well. 3-1, Project Vasava in the white at home last week. They were magnificent, but that's what Monza have to do tonight. Block will be crucial. Big serve. Isolate the hitters, and they've got to shut players down tonight. First point on the board then for the home side. Thanks for your company here on Euro Volley TV. Simon Golding with you for this one. And what should be a terrific evening of volleyball. Fairley goes opposite to Boaz. He's a monster. He's only two metres and three, which by opposite standards isn't necessarily the tallest, but he hits the ball hard. Played a bit of VNL with Poland again over the summer. But Tawami Boaz puts his first point away. Andre Wojcin to serve. Not the best pass from Lubki. Nice swing though from Schwartz. He started strong. So good swing down the line. Puts it past Boaz pretty easily. Lubki. Big server, they have several big servers on this Monza team. And that'll be what this Project Wasava team have to deal with. I love that reaction from Schalpuk to his bench. Thumbs up from Piotr Graben. And it's that kind of passing that will give Wasava the best chance tonight. Boaz to serve. Takes the pace off. Tidied up by Gagini, the Libro for Monza. Lucky keeps it in play, and it's all throws at the moment from Monza. Tilly nails it. Big start this, and big emotions out on court as well. This is interesting to see from Vasava. They have gone for this early. They realise the value of getting stuck into Monza and causing them problems, staying competitive in these opening sets. That's their big chance to close this game out Borge over the line Penny for your thoughts Piotr Graban this is a huge night for him first potentially first major title no that hasn't worked point scoring chance for Monza well, Kachope in the number 14 shirt. He's not quite on his game at the moment. Trying to go with that super tempo out to the pin. The referee's called a let on this one when he believes it should have been Stephen Mars point. Well. <laughs> he's got away with one there as Jan Fili. So we stay at three all. Monza's chance to score is gone on that point anyway the fans go straight into it again Di Martino floats the serve Tilly drags his setter away from the net Boaj isolated that's exactly what Monza want they just want opportunities to shut down the big attackers that's a fine stop Galassi next to Mar 4-3 Lurkey, the chopper in conversation. Tight pass, and that'll be backcourt setter playing it over. Referee spotted him that time. 5-3, and after some early big emotions from this Vaisava team, it's gone a little bit quiet. It'll be difficult for them away from home in this atmosphere tight well swung I'll tell you what for a player that's heading towards the autumn of his career Kevin Tilly is moving beautifully well he's flying it will be Tilly to serve 3 now 
smooth. Very smooth out of the back line. Other end of his career spectrum, 24-year-old Eric Lubke, former Trinity Western University player in Canada. Made his way to Monza via Ravenna, part of Taranto. But looks very settled here at Monza. One of the tallest players out on court, two metres and ten, Arthur Schwartz. Puts it into play for Monza. Boaj comes back with superpower. Well, it's key that they're going to put him into uh, plenty of action tonight. Jan Fierle using him repeatedly. No start for Linus Weber, the big German opposite. MVP from game one, Yuri Semenyuk with the serve. The tall man, Semenyuk, another man who stands 2-10. Good defence from Sharput. Covered by Schwartz. Look, he nips in to make the set for Stephen Maher and he's just smacked it off the block. And no defenders covering. See Maher's disappointment then that this ball should have been played defensively. Look, he was a bit upright. I think Rona enjoyed that stop. Settling into our rotations, Project Wasava make the comeback, but Semenyuk just tries a little hybrid serve there, puts it out though. Out he comes, in comes Wojciech, the Libero. He's been so good this year, Stephen Mark. Really solid. Exactly what his coach Massimo Ekili wanted. Both he and Lutke playing well enough to keep Ran Takahashi on the bench and he'll stay there if Stephen Mark keeps serving like that. That was a belter. And just like that, two-point lead opened up again. So one ace on the cards for Mark. Can he find another one? No, but it's a pressure serve. Out of system, tight. Sharp put going for the fingers, gets them. Looked like a wild hit, but there wasn't much available there for Sharp put. And he's done very well against the three blockers. His target, really, if that ball's wide enough, it's to go over the top of 1 meter 85 tall Gachopa. That's why he's called the little one. Doesn't really matter, does it? If you can set like that. Beautiful stuff from the Brazilian. Releasing Galassi, one of the leading middle blockers at the Italian World Championship win in 2022. There's Galassi. Plenty of strategic note taking from Piotr Graba, the Masawa coach. There's a couple of variables, though, that he'll have to contend with tonight if his team get on top. Good hit from Sharput, well slowed down by the block. Look, he takes that delicious tempo ball. The chopper's going to try and set that all night, so he's going to fire it out to the antenna. Flat and fast and barely above the height of the red and white stick, and it means that Stephen Ma and Eric Lutke can hammer early cross-court, wait and hit hard line. Galassi again, good server Galassi. Puts it in with pace, overpass. Out on the antenna. Monza point and they're taking a stranglehold of this first set. Piotr Graban after all that early emotion and celebration. Now sees his team to a three-point deficit. We have to start to play, okay? Relax. No worries, Rip. That is fucking long. We have to really speak against each other every time, okay? Die. Hey, die. I remember seeing a French coach at a relatively low-level tournament a few years ago talking to his team in the timeout and saying, look, if you're going to celebrate the points you win as joyously as you've just done 
you have to still communicate on the points you lose, otherwise it does not work. And Piotr Graba there making the point that his team have to keep communicating, especially in this atmosphere. Ekele will be happy so far. Effort from his team. Can Galassi serve out of the timeout? He can. Good pressure on Sharpuk. That's a sweet hit from Boj. Well, you can see why he started. He's obviously in good nick at the moment. Fixed it. Nailed it. Sharpuk. Regular in the Polish starting lineup a couple of seasons ago, or maybe longer than that. Still in the mix, but doesn't get a huge amount of selections. He's still a quality player, though. Now they think this is out from Schwartz, his first swing from the back line. Oh, that's mighty tight to the baseline. Well, that, that looked in real time, that looked like he had a chance on the line. But Massimo Eccoli has gone with a block touch video challenge here. So our first video check of the match. Monza, fan, Monza players look pretty confident that they've got this. But it's always tricky. I think it's tricky for the slow-mo cameras that are placed around the court that give us our magnificent video challenge system I think it's tough for those cameras to pick up anything that's just slipped off the side of the arm it's easier to spot the touch on the hands you get the movement of the fingers you get the hand moving backwards but on the arm it's to be a very clear picture to see that it has made contact Suleiman Yassi of the Netherlands our first referee the second leg of this Challenge Cup final. There you go. Not easy to see that as it slides down the side of the arm. But the decision of out remains. Challenge lost by Massimo Eccoli. Point lost by Monza, more importantly. Sharpuk will serve again. Derby moments for Piotr Graben. Team haven't done a huge amount wrong, but Monza looks strong tonight. Di Martino forces the issue. He's only in his mid-twenties, Di Martino. He just looks like a player who's been around forever. He is a regular starter for Monza. Got Chopper then to serve. Out of system. Bielay puts it wide, good swing from Tilly. He has made a quite fabulous start, Kevin Tilly. Never free so far. And takes on a tough seam there. Between Di Martino and Schwartz, not a lot of space to work. Andre Vronak with the serve. Good read on the Di Martino attack, drifts wide until he nips in. Really athletic to kill the overpass. Watch the amount of movement here from Tilly. That's really good. <laughs> and uh, Gachopa did not like that, shall we say. Not a serves, not the best pass from Ma. Tell you what, there is a chance that will be appearing very soon for Ran Takahashi to be brought into this match if Monza keep doing this. Four-point lead is blown. Massimo Achille calls timeout. This is not what the home team need. Great shutdown by Tillian Semenya. Schwartz played middle for Canada for a good number of years and then had a horrible knee injury which took him a season and a half to get over and when he came back he came back as an opposite and a damn good one blocked on that occasion though 12 all good recovery 
from Project Wasawa. Brona to serve again. Not a great pass. He's served, causing a few problems there. Look, he fortunately provides the outlet. Good set from Gachoffa. Magic hands. Quite rightly demanding that his teammates picked him up. Lupke. Oh dear. Well, on his day, he is an ace server, no doubt about it. Belly of the net on that occasion, and I like to see that from Monza. That was a really good team get together. But they are under pressure again here. Schwartz this time makes the most of it. Tilly fancies his chances there. I think you would when you jump in as high as Kevin Tilly is right now. Oh, dropped into the angle, but just could not get that right hand over the net. Martino, another awkward jump float serve. Sharp hook passes to the three metres. Brilliant set. Oh, that's wonderful from Jan Fierlek. Fires it to Semenyuk. Menu once again scoring well. I think he enjoyed that one. Di Martino off to be replaced by Marco Gagini, the Libro for Monza. Tilly this time into the net. So both teams below par on serve at the moment. Grimace from Piotr Graban. That is one of his uh, trademark facial expressions, by the way. Good serve. Horrible spinning ball set beautifully in uh, Sharphook using all of his international experience on that shot. So Monza are getting the hitters isolated, but Asava doing a good job to get themselves out of trouble. And Kachopa just cannot get up high enough to live with these guys. 15s. Monza cannot afford to lose sets tonight. One makes it squeaky bum time, makes it tricky. Two, game over. Lovely set, lovely finish. Again, the tempo, the pace from Gachopa is just wonderful. And both Lutke and Stephen Marr just seem to love hitting his sets. So he didn't have a massive game in game one. Marge just scored the nine points. He's got to go a bit bigger than that tonight, I suspect. Oh, Schwartz is roofed again. Vrona has shut the lights out alongside Sharpuk. Once again, looks straight away to the coach. It's all Sharpuk. Vrona closed the angle well, but Schwartz has got to do better than that. And he knows it. Slightly disgruntled Monza fans in the background. Heavy cross court swing. Look, he finds the sideline. I'm interested that uh, Gachopa is unwilling at the moment to release the pipe. Both Mar and Lucky running at big speed out of that back line, but he, he's refusing to go there at the moment. I think he's worried about the threat of. Vrona and in particular Semenyuk down that middle channel. Galassi to serve again. Had a good run last time. Great pass from Sharpuk. Calm, solid swing from Boaj. He's defended. Look, he has to chase out wide to give a freebie. And there's a freebie in return. Di Martino went with the middle and left poor old Kachopper on his own against Boaj. No contest. Business end then of set one. This is where the magic happens. 17 all, sharp hook to serve. Responsible for the initial comeback in set one from four down. Oh, oh massive again. 
This time, Broner has got Schwartz. That is really lively middle blocking from Andre Broner. He has moved very well into position. And Vasava go 18 17. Shot put out of system. Schwartz again and blocked again. Oh, massive from Project Vasava. Boaj, I think it was, this time with the finish. And Ekeli calls his second timeout. No way through for Arthur Schwartz at the moment. I was just about to say, I think Tom Abiretta has a role to play tonight, the Monza captain, because on the bench they look a little fractured Monza. They're not right gathering right around the coach at the moment. And I like that from Biretta. Just sat down with Schwartz, give him a little pep talk. Oh, this is amazing. Vashava have put themselves in a brilliant position right now. This is gold dust, two-point lead against the home side. And the travelling fans looking happy. Sharp hook off the tape, easy pass for Gagini, and Schwartz bangs it off the head of Kevin Tilly. Was Tilly trying to get out of the way here? No, he was just late. He was actually off the fingers in the end. It was a good try. Like that from Gachopa, went back to the man who'd just been blocked twice. That was enough of a trick to cause problems. And for the first time in the game, Kevin Tilly's been blocked. And this time Schwartz pastes it wide. Oh my goodness golden opportunity to go level having a tough old time at the moment Schwartz oh it was a freebie it was wide open <laughs> 2018 Piotr Graban pacing the line as his team continue to lead healthy swing from Schwartz this time he's got to get that consistency up He's about 50-50 at the moment. And Gachopa is going to him as the main man. But Kian Ma have to weigh in now with serve and block. In court this time, Sharpuk drags his setter from the net. Lovely set from Fiele, but good defensive work from Monza. Nearly messed it up. Ma sprints to the net. Good touch from Di Martino. Ma! Oh, he's done it. Monza go level. Cracking rally. Monza are working their socks off right now to stay in this first set. And this next point is huge. Side out required. Monza have a good read on this rotation. Look, he keeps the setter away from the net again. Borge blocked, but it's a huge hit. Oh, he's a monster. I saw him in Rotterdam over the summer. And he hit some huge balls against massive blocks as well. He's got a big arm. And it's going to be Bartholomi Borge to serve. This could be big for Vasova. It's a good serve. Gagini keeps it in play. Gachopa goes fast to Mar, and Mar makes the most of it. Another good kill from him. He's stepped up just when his team needs him. 21 all. Huge finish on the cards to the opening set. Monza can't afford to lose it. Vasova really must win it out of the back line first time the pipe's been used in a long time 
Fele hits sharp hook. I think the blockers read this. They just couldn't stop him. Tilly desperate to take it to 23 with this serve. No, he's been off his service game tonight. Front court, he's been brilliant. Baseline not so strong. And now another strong server. Schwartz hit a couple of thunderbolts last time. His team need him to find a big serve here. If not, two. Out by quite some distance. Mashava take another step closer to opening their account here in Monza. Changes of foot. Linus Weber comes in. It's all about the height. Fiele goes off the setter. They're going to play the next point minus the setter by the looks of it. Semenyuk to serve. Two metres and one tall. Linus Weber in front court as blocking specialist. And they finally release the pipe. And Stephen Marr gives Gagini a really early call on that one. Beautiful hit from Lutke. Well, he's waited his time to finally play that backcourt central attack. And the chopper works his magic. Fiele back in, Weber to the bench. And now it's the turn of Massimo Ekili to play his cards. It'll be Stephen Marr to serve, and Captain Toma Biretta is in as a point blocker. No setter on court for Monza now. Good serve. Out of system problems. Sharp hook. Nails it. Off the top of the three-man block. He's been brilliant too in this opening set. 24-23, Vasava get to set point first. The blocking lineup didn't quite work. It wasn't far away. Fiele to serve. Tall front line then for Vashava. Desperately important serve this one. Got to go in with pressure. Ma with a solid pass. Lurky though, isolated out on the wing. He's going again and takes the block on and loses. Vashava. Takes set number one, Batoami Boaz with the kill block. Hold your horses, hold your horses. Here we go. Second video challenge for Massimo Ekeli. He had one in the bank and he's going to use it to ask if it was a net touch by Boaz. I would say that the opposite celebration for Project Wasawa would suggest there was no net touch. We will see. Early drama then, here in the Oppi Quad Arena, the home side, tested, a four-point lead at one stage, gone. And Kevin Tilly is not happy about the amount of time that it's taking to get to this decision, a decision that he thinks is going his team's way. So why bother? But rules is rules. Ekili perfectly within his rights to ask for a look at this one. Wow. You cannot afford to burn four-point leads at this level. Well, there we go. It is a net touch. Would you believe it? That is a stunning challenge from uh, Massimo Ekeli. Captain Vrona is in to ask for an explanation here because he thinks it was the ball that forced the net into the arms and runners back and forth to make absolutely sure with the referees here. Well, I had my teams reversed. I was ready to go with set two. But as I said, horses held. Piotr Graban is not happy. 24 all, we go to overtime in set one. We play on to two clear points. 
And the Vasava players are losing a bit of discipline here. The crowd are right on their back now. And you've got to keep your focus. You have to keep your focus. This is now opportunity time for Monza. There's a couple of uh, Vasava players might just have lost concentration and it's the Galassi serve as well. Normally reliable, normally tough to deal with. In, sharp put passes it, but out of system. Borwaj swings into the block. They have to go again, Tilly takes over, sharp hook. Oh, magnificent hit. Oh, ho, ho. you cannot believe it. Incredible endeavor there from Steven Marr to chase that ball. But it doesn't come back and Sharpuk eventually gets his kill. It's been magnificent in set one. Look at that from Steven Marr. Well, we've seen them come back from there. Krelik, the chopper, couldn't quite get it over the net. Third set point arrives. Second set point, my apologies, and it's wasted by Sharpuk into the net. 25 all. Well, I can only imagine the scenes if Vashava lose this opening set because they thought they had it in the bank. They thought it was one. Video challenge went against them, much to their intense displeasure. Now the system swing for Tilly. Goes double into the net and gets it. Went for the volley into the block, and the referee has evened it up. Well, that looks still in play. There's a touch off the block. Looked like a little tickle on the net as well from someone. Either way, it's a third set point to Vashava. Good set. Oh, what a dig. Sharp hook, stab dig. Tilly for the set. No. Out of the back line, Gachopa goes to Ma, and they were just waiting for him. Tilly and Semenya roof it and take the first set for Project Vashava. 27-25 and another challenge. Now remember, Massimo Eccoli won his last challenge, so he still has one remaining. And he's going to ask for exactly the same thing. Block touch on the net. So blocker's arms into the net. And Stephen Mark making the point to our second referee, Vladimir Simonovic, that if you're going to behave like that, you should be dishing out cards to the opposition. Temper's running high here. And this time, no net touch. Tilly and Semenyuk keep it clean. Vashava win the first set. They are one set away from glory here in the Challenge Cup. Well, that's just sprinkled an extra bit of spice onto this encounter. Set two will be between two teams that are currently glaring at each other as they swap sides. That was mighty tight. Monza will be ruining the fact that they gave up a four-point lead and eventually lost the set. Magnificent start to this second leg. All the drama, all the elements of a plot that you would expect in a blockbuster and this one warming up nicely. Monza not out of it yet though. will run Takahashi feature. Well, magnificent evening so far. Passions running high. And if you wondered the focus was like for these two teams for this Challenge Cup final, you now know.
Well, there we go. Set one comes to a close. It was an epic 27-25 to Project Varsava. The visitors here in Monza and the Opi Quad Arena. The volume went up in incremental steps as that set went on. They were so noisy. But Varsava to keep enough of their composure having got a little aerated with both referees and opponents they managed to keep enough composure to close the deal but it's not completely closed just yet this game is still alive this final is still alive More CEV European volleyball drama here on Euro Volley TV. What a night in Monza. Massimo Eccoli has watched his team blow a four point lead in a game that they must win by 3 1 or 3 0. Referees just want a word before this one starts. Might just be a, a little chat. Yeah, yellow card there. It's given out to Roger Vosova. I think for a bit of back chat. <laughs> it's done nothing but fire them up. It's hard to shout up that has been given the yellow. What a start to the second leg of this Challenge Cup final for the team in white. Project Vosova. Came here to Mint Vero Volley Monza in this magnificent Oppi Quad Arena. Not maybe being given a huge chance of winning the title without the need to go to a golden set. They do come as marginal favourites, but everybody, I think, feeling that Monza will be able to dominate at home. And it's been far from it. Still no place on court for Japan's Ran Takahashi for this Monza team. So the three Canadians continue on the wings. Eric Lupke, Stephen Ma and this man, Arthur Schwartz. Schwartz just misses. Monza cannot afford to lose another set. And look at, look at the team. You can see how up Vashava are. They are buzzing. That could have been nasty for Monza. Tickle off the net tape from Boaj, but just drifts wide. Well, Piotr Graben has uh, worked so hard to make his way as a professional head coach. And he's got a chance here to get his biggest ever win. Just magnificent at home, virtually error free. They came at Monza so hard. Well, a couple of players here hold the key. Semenyuk has to be big in the middle. And Kevin Tilly and Arthur Sharpuk have to keep doing what they're doing left side. Chance for Sharpuk to do that. Goes off pace, picked up easily by Gagini. Swing from Luck, he's slowed. Sharpuk not given the ball this time. Instead, it's French Olympic champion Kevin Tilly. For want of a better word, that explodes out of that back line. What a pipe. A little word, I think, as well for Jan Fille. The Vashava setter has been superb both in and out of system, and he's been out of system a fair few times. Monza have served tough, but he's made good selections. The Lashava block is reading everything here. It's still in play. Semenyuk puts it away. A stunning rally. And the MVP from game one continues to wreak havoc. What a pickup from Fiele. Turned it into a set. Semenyuk just tapped it off the top of the block and away. The Monza players now are feeling the pressure. 4-2 for Shava. 
this is the set they'll be targeting. Low, very low to Schwartz. It's played on, it's played on. Referee hasn't given it. And Monza in disarray. Great dig. And that is brutal from Boaz. Well, from playing this game when you're children, what are you told? Play to the whistle. Timeout called by Massimo Ekeli. His team in trouble here, 5-2 down. It's the turn of the Monza players to be disgruntled with the officials. I think the chopper may have just got himself a card. First time I've really seen it this year from Monza. They've been such a together team, they've been such a unit, but that was a lot of different voices saying a lot of different things. Lubki, the best scorer for Monza, but Kevin Tilly has been dynamic, living up to his international billing. Olympic champion billing the number seven is going to serve again as Stephen Marr pleads Monza's case <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't want to argue with him would you Stephen Marr but the refs are in charge and the cards have been handed out Tilly to serve goes off pace out of the back of the timeout Oh, another huge read. Semenyuk is all over this game. Wow. 6-2. I tell you what, Piotr Graban and his team have done their homework on Monza. Reading them like a book at the moment. The choppers setting, not causing them trouble. Out from Galassi. Well, they say in. And referee has gone with the Monza players. So Piotr Graban instantly responds with the challenge. Ball in or out. And <laughs> I love it. Damian Wojciech, smallest man on court at 1 meter 80, right in the middle of it all, making his point. And do you know what? He's got it bang on. He was indicating it was about 20 centimeters out with his hand gesture. He's absolutely right. another video challenge lost for Massimo Ekeli. 7-2. Kosava in complete control here. And well on their way to the title. Bowaj shouldn't have taken that. But he did, and it matters not, because Artur Sharpok is the out-of-system king at the moment. Monza have got themselves in a horrible situation here, but they've been largely put there by some very clever play again by Vajava. All over it. Sharper, Roof Schwartz. And Vajava are running away with this cup final. He's loving this tonight, Arthur Sharpak. Well, change is made. It's not the change we were expecting. In comes youngster Nick Mujanovic of Slovenia, signed just before Christmas from Kalsit Kamnik to join Monza. He's only 20, but he's two meters and five tall, and he's a very confident young man. Not given the ball on his first inclusion by Gachopa instead fires it wide for Lupke to work the scene through Semenyuk, Semenyuk thought he had him there so Arta Schwartz out, in comes replacement Mijanovic for Monza still no Ran Takahashi and 
serve from Galassi. Beautiful pass from Sharpook. And Semenya puts a massive dent in the Monza court. Oh, that's insane. What a hit. He's on fire again. Seven-point lead for Vashava. And the home side, Monza, are looking all at sea. Too good. Too good. Crazy set from Fierle to his captain, Verona. Oh, wonderfully manufactured hit. He had no right to kill that ball, and he's killed it easily. And finally, Ran Takahashi is in for Stephen Ma. So two of the three Canadians replaced. Japan's superstar, 22-year-old Ran Takahashi, is on court. Barely played in leg number one. Gini, good pass, nice finish from Di Martino. Now, one thing that Takahashi can bring to the party is his ball control in both front and back court. So, passing alongside Gagini, I think Gachopa's going to have a, a slightly better ball to be working with in terms of that pass. Big hit from him. Wonderful pass, one-handed set from Fierle, falls a little short for Sharpuk. Lovely hit. That is superb mobility from Eric Lepke. Monza will take whatever they can get at the moment. Good defence from Gachopa, nice ball control, as I mentioned, from Takahashi to bump that set wide. Sharpuk, another good pass, gets the return ball. Can't put it down. Got Chopper defends again. Uh, it's too good. Welcome to the court, young man. Mijanovic is dispatched by Vashava, captain for honor. This is a solid front line with Fiele serving. Next three rotations, Project Vashava will be looking to score heavy. No, that's Fierle serving. Boric is in front court. Oh, Fierle gets the touch. Doesn't come back though. Di Martino, two kills in a row. Doesn't get a lot of sets, Di Martino, but maybe getting some more at this rate. Six points down, doesn't make this service visit for Lutke easy. Graban. Dare he believe that the title is within their grasp? They've certainly got one hand on the trophy. And Monza just cannot get it going. They've lost too many points at the start of this second set. There we go. Errors on both sides in terms of serving. Sharpuk off the tape. Look, he passes. And this time put away. I told you he was confident. Nick Vujanovic won't mind the fact that he was blocked on that first ball. He's a tall man. He's got a big jump, fast arm, and he's going to use it. <laughs> Gets the Munsters theme tune. Or is it the Adams family theme tune? Yeah, good swing. Good swing. He's been a bit of an unsung hero, Bawaj, tonight. When he's had to kill the ball, he's done it very well. A wonderful modern technology giving uh, Massimo Eccoli an immediate replay of what is becoming a bit of a horror show in set two. Seven point lead is maintained. Bron has been good tonight. He serves. Takahashi passes, sprints to the tape, and makes it easily. Is he the key that can unlock this match tonight for Monza? He's a wonderful player. That was a wonderful shot. Now, how is Mujanovic's luck at the service line? He hits a big ball. It's a good swing. Tilly 
passes it. Bawaj gets an out of system set again. <laughs> I'll chuck it up as high as you want it, and you just do something with it. And Bartolome Bawaj has done something with it virtually every single time in this match. He's been magnificent. Now he serves. Gagini, good pass. Nice. Very nice. There's an extra dimension being brought to the game. Lerpke, Ma and Schwartz are all muscle, but Takahashi has got a little slice of finesse in there. And he's also got a nasty serve to pass. Watch him toss this ball high and watch the spin he puts on it. Semenyuk can do everything. Oh, amazing. Lands it right on the big man's head and he passes it with ease. Sharp hook out of the pipe for the kill. And Monza completely and utterly fooled by Fiele. Round to Tilly again. 16 9. His team in control. Huge swing. Yeah, I like that. I really like that from Mijanovic. You've got to be some character as a, a younger player to come on from the bench and make an impact, and he's done it. He's done exactly that. Now, a couple of serves here from Galassi, then a nice run of side outs, puts Monza in with a shot. Still a big if, though. It's just got bigger. 17 points reach now. Massimo Ekele wanted a big night for his team tonight. The crowd have done their job in the Opiquad Arena. But Monza still have no answers to Project Vashava. Semenya case. Oh, it's a brilliant serve. Didn't hit it hard, just hit it high with cut and out to that line and it was too much for Loki. Fine pass from Takahashi, what a set to Moranovic but defended. A little overset on that occasion. He's not done a lot wrong tonight, Fiele, and he gets away with it. No touch, Piotr Graban celebrates with Wojciech. Lutki out. And Monza are nearly done here. Project Vashava are on the verge of a massive title for them this season. Another beautiful pass from Takahashi. Moranovic this time gets what he was after. Blocker's fingers are out. Well, what must the Vero Vali Monza players be thinking right now? This is a tricky situation. Eight points down. But they have to remain professional. Vrona's done it again. It looks so awkward. But if the set isn't quite there to bang on the power, he just clips it across his body and he doesn't miss. We're back round to those three rotations again with Fiele in backcourt, the setter. Big blockers front line, he would have liked to have put that in. If that isn't too obvious. Now the one danger here for Project Vashava is to have their second hand on the trophy before it is done. Concentration vital. Tough pass, what a set. And what a piece of defence from Sharpuk. Goes up against Takahashi, gets enough on it to defend. Boaj beats the three men and beats the Libro. That's one of the swings of the night. 
scorching hit from Bartolomeu Bosch. And maybe that's why Takahashi hasn't featured in this tie up until now. He just doesn't have that physicality in the block. 21 12. Unbelievable from Vashava. Out of system again, Monza. Takahashi tries for the replay and nobody defends it. And Massimo Ekele calls his second time out. His team are done. This cup final is done. Vashava have played brilliantly. I tell you, there is some serious anger on that bench. A few players in there trying to keep it positive, but one or two unhappy. This was supposed to be their night. This was the night for the big comeback. But after a superbly competitive first set, Vashava have simply shut the door. Shaput to serve. Three points away from claiming the title. The game won't be over, but in terms of this cup final, it will be. Beautiful hit from Takahashi. Puts another point on the board for Monza. But they need more than this. They need points on their serve, and they need them fast. Not sure Di Martino is the man to deliver. Pass Sharpuk. Tilly hard off the top of the block. Lurkki manages to get the continuation and then the defence off the block. And Takahashi does the rest. What a player. They need more, Monza. They need lots more. And it really does have to happen on this rotation. They've got to put a serious dent in Project Vashava's score. Martino to serve. And that was the loudest collective groan from a home crowd that you will hear this season. Rona to serve. He will be so proud of his team tonight, the Vashava captain. No, no luck for him off the tape. They don't need to put another serve in court, to be honest. They can serve underarm if they want. As long as they side out twice, then they will win this second set. Monza need to go big. Mujanovic needs to go big. He's capable of runs of aces. Nice hit, sharp put passing beautifully. And Boaj does what he's done all evening. Put the ball away with ease. It's not the match point in terms of tonight's fixture, but smiles all round from Vashava because it certainly is cup final point. Boaj goes hard, but into the net. Watch for the celebrations from this Vashava team. There we go. Dr. Graban saying, use it, use it off the block, turn it, find the angle. Takahashi it will be with the responsibility of serving. Into the net, there are the celebrations from Project Vashava. They've won set two and they have won the CEV Challenge Cup for 2024. We play on but it will be a hollow feeling for the home side. Not for the visitors, though. Vashava have been simply superb tonight. Took an early lead, kept the lead, and they have buried Monza. 25-16 in the second. And that means it will be their title. 
Well, what does Massimo Eccoli do from here? Does he keep players on or does he just go for wholesale changes? Very often that is what a coach will do. By the same token, if Piotr Graban feels that there is big games approaching within the Polish Super League, then he may be tempted to take players off. We will see who starts set three. Magnificent evening for Project Vasava, but it is not the evening that the Monza fans were hoping for. They wanted a little more drama than this. They wanted it to go deeper. Congratulations, Project Vashava. And commiserations to Mimpero Voli Monza. 2-0 on the night is good enough for Vashava to claim the title. The CEV Challenge Cup in their hands. But we play on. There is still a game to be decided this evening. And this is when the coaches make their various moves substitution-wise. Yep, the first six, the first seven being rested. Distinct possibility that this match goes all the way to five now, depending on how well the two benches play. The whole bench pretty much is on for Vashava. Whole bench is pretty much on for Monza. Away we go with a completely new look pair of teams out there on court. I'll update you as we go on through this set so you know who's out there. Stepien is the new setter. Maciek Stepien will start as the playmaker. He feeds the new opposite from Germany, Linus Weber. On the other side of the net, we've got Pera Vizic setting the Croatian setter for Monza. He's joined by number six, Francesco Comparoni, through the middle. And another new man on court, number one, Jakub Kovacic. Veteran middleman. Pops it into the net. The bench players knew there was always a chance that they were going to play tonight. And they will play with smiles on their faces, I'm sure. Stepenyuk is still out there. Uh, Semenyuk, my apologies, is still out there. Remember when Bovalenta, Vigo Bovalenta, wore one of these face masks when he damaged his uh, nose and cheekbone. And that's exactly what's happened to Francesco Comparoni. His first serve is good, but Semenyuk continues to score in rampant fashion. He goes past the Monza captain, who's also out on the floor, the other middle blocker, Thomas Biretta, as Linus Weber serves. Oh, what a stop! <laughs> Semenya reading the pipe on Takahashi and shutting the lights out. Hideous block. 
was huge. Lucky still on with Takahashi left side, incidentally. Muranovic is still the opposite. And the man just hitting the ball there. Karol Borkowski is the new left side player. And Weber's missed it down the line. He's a solid international, is Linus Weber. Played a lot for Germany in the VNL this season. He's, um, he's lost a bit of his bulk as Linus Weber. Jumping a bit higher and swinging that arm fast. Number 13, Igor Grabelli. Another new player out on court. So it's Grabelny and Borkowski left side for Vashava. Semenyuk and Kovalchik through the middle. Maciek Stepien comes in as the new setter for Jan Fierle. And Linus Weber opposite. So that's the new lineup for Vishala. For Monza, they've got Lutke and Takahashi still out on the floor, but they've got new middles. Comparoni and Viretta. Net touch is the request on the challenge by Piotr Graban. No is the answer. This could go to five, this match now depending on how well the Monza subs play. Here's the new set for Monza. Pera Vizic. That meets a 98 tall setter. Not the best set from uh, Stepien. And Mianovic gives it the double bicep. There's not much to celebrate tonight, unfortunately, for Monza. He'll take that, though. Ball set straight into his hands by Maciek Stepien. Three all. Weber. He's dug very well. Oh, that's unlucky. I'm, I'm not sure how much Flavio Moranzini knew about that one. Have a look at this. Have a look at Moranzini down the line. Oh, he did. He knew all about it. Looked initially from that first camera angle like he kind of dipped away from the shot, but he hadn't. He defended bravely. Weber just too big. Borkowski. Going to have to serve better than that. The substitutes. Too many errors already from Vashava. Would have been a tough ask to uh, keep most of those Monza players out on the court. Would have been very disappointed with what's happened, but the newly formed team are doing a good job here. And Monza go 5-4 off Semenya. Moranovic with the kill. Strap yourselves in, though. We could be in the duration now this Monza lineup looks strong enough whereas Vashava don't look anywhere near as balanced as the team that have just won the title and I think Monza are going to move away pretty quickly here unless Vashava can slow them down to serve again at the moment the pass is not great the subs no beaten quite easily there down the line and Igor Grabelny gets welcome to the game by Eric Lutke Monza now with the advantage timeout called by Vashava <laughs> Piotr Graban still doing his job, still working, but he can do it, celebrating all the way. And even if there is another three sets to be played, it'll be a bit of a victory lap for this Vajava team. And it's a great opportunity for coaches in these situations, these two-leg situations, when you do get the victory in the bag, 
you can give court time to the bench, which is crucial with the rest of the season still to finish off. Look, he's serving well. Nearly beaten again. Heavy cross-court swing is defended well by Takahashi. Can't quite get the cut on the ball. Moranovic is playing well. We can't escape the fact that this is a concluded match, as it were, over the two ties. It is Vashava that have the win. Look, he got bored there and just sent over a floater. Defence from Visic. Monza running away with it. Just to remind you, Piotr Graben would love his bench to play well, but he does not mind losing the next three sets. If they're getting court time, it's quite useful. Oh, beautifully done. Bukowski was driven backwards and sideways. He recovered so well to get on the front foot for that big attack. What a shot out of the back line. Not a bad set from Maciek Stepien either. Now Semenyuk, can he be the hero again? Serve his team back into it. Of 10 tall middle blocker has been wonderful tonight. Oh, not bad from Moranovic. I'll tell you what, the uh, Slovenian Federation will be delighted to see this young man getting some time out here on the floor as good as he's looking that touch it's the blockers of Monza so lead restricted yeah just caught the bottom of the net didn't he as he pulled his arms up to reach over Moranovic that's an unusual one new setter step in with the serve slow down block Weber has to be the go-to man for point scoring. Comparoni has completely mishit that. Can't be easy playing with that thing on your face. It's a good leave from the man I haven't mentioned yet, actually, the backup Libro for Vashava. Giazzi Grzynski. Good touch from Grzynski. Weber can't finish it. Again, Stepia not giving his hitter a real chance there. Weber swings again, and that'll do it. Weber could have quite a big point score in this set alone because I think he's going to get a lot of traffic. But he's more than capable. Stepia to serve again, and Dr. Graban watching his team get back into this. Defended. It's in. Had to be played by Vizic. Look, he going circus style to Takahashi. Takahashi putting it out of play. And just like Monza in set one. doing it again in set three and giving up a massive points lead it's even bigger this time around and Vashava have recovered Comparoni gets the return ball dug by Stepien Weber blocked good recovery from Comparoni to get alongside Takahashi and make the stop Takahashi got all of it Comparoni did well to shut down the angle. 
Now Varanovic can cut loose again. Lovely swing, well defended again, beautifully done down the line. Brave stuff from Marazzini. It's defended by Moranovic. Takahashi beats the block this time. And Monza open up their lead to three. In terms of the balance of players out there on court, there's no reason why Shava can't get this done in three, but Mons team at the moment just outperforming them. It's missed. Weber from the left side. Just the one rotation where he plays there. I told you he's going to get a lot of traffic, but he's mishit that. Again, just trying to go for the top of the fingers. And how about this as a response from the Monza DJ and the crowd? Wonderful stuff. No hard feelings and all that. Four points the lead. Moranovic misses. They don't really want to offer up a, a second comeback here to Vashava. So Monza will be minded to keep their foot really firmly down on the accelerator and just maintain that lead. to serve Moranovic is defended yeah it's coming back well picked off brilliant from Grabelny Moranovic is looking just a little bit too good here for the Vashava bench now what does Graban want to do with this does he I, I think now he's given the evening off to the likes of Tilly and Bawaj and Vrona and Schalpuk. I'm, I'm not sure he can say, sorry boys, you're back on. I think we, we've got what we've got here. Rukovsky hits it hard enough to take it out over the baseline. Good aggression from him. Valci. Serves Lurkey, Lurkey, easy pass, and I'll tell you what, Francesco Comparoni, after that initial miss, has now got himself into the game. Well, it's a fun, relaxed element. Now they're down on the court. Want to know they've lost this match, or know they've lost the tie over the two legs. By the same token, Vashava know they've won the title. So for Monza and for Vashava, a chance for the, the guys that haven't played as much in this fixture to get out there on the floor, show us what they can do. So far, so good for Monza, having coughed up the five-point lead. They're back to five-point advantage. Stepia not quite finding his men yet. And in turn, when he does find them, his men not putting the ball away. Although Linus Weber is scoring reasonably well. Quite a few of the Italian players will know Linus Weber well. The season with Milano a couple of years ago. Some of the Monza team, women's team watching on, although Paul Milano is there. Libero and this middle blocker, we have to target them, okay? Or we go strong, or Libero or middle blocker, okay? Hey! Hey! If ever signed from Berlin recycling volleys to Milano, 
season before last. That, that didn't quite work out, and he went to Friedrichshafen after that. And then had a good season on the VNL with Germany, and went from there to Warsaw. So Massimo Kelly's mix and match team are doing a good job here in set three and it looks like we're certainly going to go to a fourth if not beyond it does feel like five sets is the option here unless Fashava can really pick themselves up this new group of players have got to find a, a way to work together but as Piotr Graben said in the last timeout just keep smiling we've, we've won the cup whatever you do out on the floor whatever you do in the timeout do it with smiles on your face. It's our night. And a visit to serve. Second season here as the backup setter at Monza. Nice set from Stepien. Semenyuk just wafted at it. That means the continuation play is there for the taking. Look, he kills the transition. to this from the Monza fans you wouldn't know that they've lost the cup net touch and Takahashi just overbalancing couldn't stop himself putting his hand on the net I think oh no his head there we go Karol Borkowski a huge impact front court. Yeah, good turn. No, it's just out. He thinks it's in. I, I must admit, I've got some sympathies here with Igor Grabelny. I thought he turned this crisply to the line. It's been given out. And Piotr Graban. He's going to have a look. Might as well. <laughs> he says that far out. And you know what? He's not far off. Challenge lost. Point lost. Mons are on their way to winning the first set tonight. Well, the first set that they've won tonight. It won't change the outcome of this game. Project Vashava are the Challenge Cup champions. The only player out there on the floor for Vashava that started tonight was Yuri Semenyuk. And there he is at the service line. <laughs> Free ball. They need this point, Vashava. Oh, great set. That really is terrific from Stepien. Put his back into that because he knew it was going to be tight. And look at the DJ trying to play all the appropriate tracks with a bit of a, a theme for the night. And that's what Monza are trying to do. They're trying to get up again. But all that remains for them is to salvage a bit of pride tonight by trying to win this game in five sets.
I would respectfully suggest that this set is gone for Vashava. They will be faced with a slightly unusual situation of potentially losing the game but winning the cup. Janovic to serve. Cracker. He's done really well since coming onto court as Nick Maranovic. And there we go. Body language of the Monza players is gradually picking up. It's a horrible thing to have to do to play on when you know you've lost the cup. But they're making the best of it. And the group of athletes that have been brought on from the bench are doing a solid job. Heavy swing from Grabelny. It's been given in, so we might get a challenge here from Massimo Ekili. See what you think on the real, real time replay. That was definitely out. But did it touch someone on the way? So Ekeli will go ball in or out challenge, which then gives Piotr Graben the opportunity, should he wish, to counter, because it's definitely out. So did it touch the block? <laughs> there we go. I see your ball in out challenge, and I raise you one counter challenge on the touch. And he's quite clearly making his point here that he wants to check this on the video. The referee says no. Go figure. I thought he had the right to counter there, but there we go. Set points, plenty of them. Varanovic blocks his copybook with that serve, but at the moment, the two benches, I mean, it's not strictly bench for Monza because they've Still got uh, Eric Lutke and Ran Takahashi in. Uh, Maranovic played in regular time as well. But of the two replacement squads, it's the team in blue that are doing by far the best. Cheeky set from Vizic. Oh dear. And Vizic gets the kill. Tall setters can do that, you know. 25 17, Monza claim the third set. The cup final has been decided, but the match will go on. I think he enjoyed that. The setters always love a kill. Tail of the tape, for what it's worth. So far, 27, 25, 25, 16, Project Vaisava's starting lineup beating Mintvera Voli Monza's starting lineup then the change is made and a set on the board for Monza by 25 points to 17 it does look on that evidence then like we're going to go to five which means that there's a lot of bench players who are going to be very happy to get some time out there on court at last Full marks to the Monza crowd for staying on. And full marks to the Monza team for still giving it a, a go in this game.
So no surprises. Piotr Graban is going to stick with this group of players that he's brought in. Come hell or high water, he doesn't mind if it goes to five. That's just more court time for those players. And Massimo Ekeli, he too made a fair amount of changes. Beretta and Comparoni coming in for Galassi and Di Martino, who've got matches to play in the starting lineup at the weekend. Stephen Ma had already been replaced by Ran Takahashi, and Takahashi stays on with Lurkki, so those two left side players still out there. And we got another change. Junior coming in for Monza and Semenyu with a perplexed look through the net. So this is uh, Massimo Ekeli's chance to give more players more court time. Grabber not happy about something. I'll, I'll be absolutely honest, I didn't have a five on the team sheet. Maybe that is the problem. Or maybe it's Piotr that's put the wrong players in the wrong place. Unlikely. But forgivable. Yep. <laughs> Mia Culpa. <laughs> I think he has put the wrong rotation on the floor. We're pretty much definitely going to five then. And the new sub on court is so much not part of this squad that he doesn't have his own name on the shirt. Proud moment for the young man. Right, anything could happen in set four. Because if Piotr Graben has put all his players in the wrong places, this could be fun. They might have to make a few things up as they go. I think that makes it relatively straightforward, really, for Monza to push this match to five. So Mabireta then the captain with the kill. not looked uh, tremendously happy all night as the captain for Monza. It's a little disgruntled during the warm-up and talking for quite a long time with uh, Massimo Ekeli. Dr. Graban still checking his rotations. So essentially with Linus Weber going back to serve here, he's in the opposite position, so he should have Maciek Stepien opposite him so he's in one he should have Stepien in four Monza have come for a block touch challenge <laughs> it's all going to uh, I won't say a rude word <laughs> it's a block touch <laughs> would you believe it the middle pinky of Bukowski he thought he got away with it well spotted by Massimo Achille. So they're trying to sort this rotation out. Let's see if Stepien, yeah, Stepien's penetrating from the right place. So maybe that isn't the issue. Clipped nicely onto the floor by Linus Weber. And Yuri Semenyuk is still the cheerleader, the number 10. Still on court and wants more from his the youngsters around him. Koski with the surf, flights it over the baseline. It's got to be five sets, I think. Maximum value. Young man from the bench making his debut. Koski awkward pass. Rebelny gets the reuse. 
Semenya can't put it past Muranovic. Good defence from the big man. Good save from Ran Takahashi and a massive hit from Muranovic. Oh my goodness. That's a scary hit. Good effort again from Shava Libro. Wonderful hit. Beautifully defended by Marazzini. Can't stop uh, Semenyuk this time though, and Vashava put a point on the board. Just going to try and stop Monza running away with this. So Eric, Eric Lutke is the man who's been uh, sacrificed for the junior substitution. He's done well so far. Semenyuk puts it into play. Pass by Komparoni. And Moranovic out the back line puts another one down. He's hitting with impunity at the moment. The arms of Kovalchik on this occasion. He's kept himself in good nick, Kovalchik. Late 30s now. Lovely swing from Bodkowski. He's uh, a flyer like Grabelny. Good, got uh, really good to weight ratio which means your power is excellent and you're, you're pushing a relatively small weight into the air Ran Takahashi is exactly the same these boys can ping ping and swing from Takahashi Hit again out of the back line. Takahashi though, making it look easy. This rotation cost them a few points last time around. Shower in that set three struggle with Weber out on the left. Fortunately for them. Better visit, she's in charitable mood. It would be kind of an icing on the cake situation if uh, Project Vashava win this set with this squad. Oh! Absolute screamer of an ace! Welcome to the big time, son. <laughs> Made Eckley smile. Make him smile even more. Marco Gaspari watching on the coach of this. Milano team, the women's team that is, go into their quarter-finals, attempting to push on to the semis and uh, in a relatively good situation after their first leg win. That's happening this week on Eurovolley TV. Garaci. Well, I'll tell you what, Moranovic is doing a solid job here. Put two, three, four seasons on him, and he looks like he's going to be a really good pro, if not international. Remember, Slovenia and their men's team operating at the highest level these days. A great group of players to be training and playing in amongst, and that's a fine hit. Toma Bireta has not smiled much tonight. 
will be beaming from ear to ear after that one. Good serve from the captain. Well, he is pounding the living daylights out of it, isn't he, Semenya? Weber's turn to get it wrong. That wasn't the smoothest arm swing from the German. Five sets on the way then, Piotr. Before you can celebrate cup in hand. Decent pass. And a nice little tricky change up from Borkowski. I like that. As well played. Yeah, very good. Mr. Magic, now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> Which hand's the ball in? Good dig in the middle of that from uh, Jesse Gazinski. It could work. Good comeback from Moranovic. Well, the Monza fans just want to see a win now, even though victory in five sets would not give them the trophy. We just want to see the home side put the visitors away. Well, Linus Weber is still the man that can unlock it. Still going to have to get a fair bit of traffic from Steppi in, and he's going to have to kill just about every single ball he gets. It's a big ask, but he's a big player. So not quite the 15 points yet for Yuri Semenyuk, but if this game goes to five, he could get there. Oh, good blocking. Really nice read. Steppi in just hung out wide. And then experience of Kovacic gets there for the finish Comparoni's favourite if the pass is good here it is good oh he's not gone there blockers thought the same as me and Moranovic got the ball one blocker to beat beats him easily <laughs> Kovacic disappears in the wrong direction Semenya good tonight, he's been good in this cup final in general, MVP from game one. I don't think he'll be MVP in game two, I think that'll be going in the direction of maybe Arthur Sharpuk, and if not, Tomomi Boaj, who uh, contributed big time tonight for their team. to go for the blockers there quite a ponderous travel out to the wing and Vashava showing signs of recovery here Stepien serves Usic makes the play but Takahashi can't get it past those long arms of Linus Weber <laughs> Did you see the look from Lina Sveber to Massimo Ekeli after he made the stop? Takashi doesn't miss many of those. You show him and I'll hit him. Yeah, they can have a look though. 
Yet to grab on in disagreement with the referees. Thinks this didn't touch the block, which I'd imagine his, I'd imagine his blockers have assured him that there was no touch, otherwise this would be a bit of a waste. team are telling the truth. So initially called as a touch, uh, Takahashi is now deprived of the point. Oh, I'm not sure what the referee needs to talk about here. He's called in the on-court captain, Maciek Stepje. There was no block touch. So it should be Vashava's point, which it is. Quite sure what that needed discussing, but there we go. So Piotr Graban's team here with a, a real shout of winning this in four and doing the job properly. Good defence on Moranovic, but Davalci can't quite keep it in. He picks up another point. And hopefully you're getting to see a good comparison here of bench versus uh, starting lineup. It's not quite the ball control, the fluidity of play, the ferociousness of serving. He's getting into his stride now, isn't he, uh, Grabelny? Both he and Borkowski started a little bit rabbit in the headlights, but they're starting to play now. Wax another good serve. Lovely pass and it's defended. Chances here. Stepian goes to Borkowski who just lines up the corner and makes it look easy. 17-14. And this Project Vasavia team have recovered very nicely indeed. Show a lead by three. Massimo Ekeli forced into a timeout. A few youngsters out on the floor. 18-year-old Morazzini has played really well. But he's looked very good. At Libro. And uh, Gachopa. Giving the boys a send-off back to the floor. Well, we'll see how much heart Monza have left here. Victor Graben's team in control in set four. The timeout does its job. Rebelny obliges with the serve error, but they've got a few points to work with here. Side out takes them back to the magic three. It's off the Takahashi serve though, so it might not be that straightforward. Well, very good defensive coverage, but the blockers too solid. Kovacic approaching the end of his career gets the shutdown on a young man at the start of his. In fact, it was Weber, my apologies. <laughs> oh, stinker from Kovacic. Trying to go for the old Gianelli side swipe. Gets it all wrong. One service ace for Captain Thomas Beretta. Can he find another one? Good hit, good pass though. And Linus Weber is blocked. Monza back in it, and the young man gets his revenge. Yeah, good stop.
pass. They managed to get Semenyuk into play. That's a good dig, but Weber just waiting for the overpass, puts it away comfortably. But Shaba hang on to their slender lead. Simic loosen his arm up. He's had a couple of miss hits from the baseline. The rest of it's been very good for Linus Weber, but he's, he's a player that can unload on the serve. No, he's, he's not getting something right tonight. hit from Moranovic, well controlled by Grabelny, Weber out of the back line, slashes it wide and all that good work from Vashava has been undone I don't need mistake on the service, they don't receive nothing and we give them the point for free we have to play with the brain guys, come on Total agreement there. There's no point in giving an easy serve to your opponents because it comes back with interest, but there's no need to go full throttle from the service line because you've got great blockers that are tracking this match very well. And there's one in your picture, Yuri Semenyuk. Got to give him a chance to do his work. And if you're missing serves, you're not giving your blockers the opportunity. <laughs> Love it. It's a party atmosphere, even though it's not gone Monza's way tonight. 15 points in the game. Moranovic has done well, considering he didn't come on until the back end of the second set. So, can the Vashava players do what their coach has asked for? Serving court, give the blockers a chance to work. It's a good hit. Now to system, Moranovic. Oh, great defence. What a touch from Stepien. It amounts to nothing in the end, but that's the kind of commitment you want to see from your players. Semenya tried to get there on the bounce out of the net as well. Good effort from the two metres and ten tall middle blocker 20s five sets is still on if Monza can keep it tight Twenty one twenty service errors more abundant tonight than they were last week Good hit. But Takahashi's still got it. The, the problem that's restricted his court time really is getting back from the ankle injury. You can see he's got a bit of strapping on his left ankle. Twenty ones. Well turned by Kowalczyk, he was a little lucky to get away with that one. I'm sure he'll go and give some to Toma Biretta, the man that could have stopped him but didn't. Step in to serve, three tall front courts for Vashava, which looks good for them. Now, can they go to 23? No, Weber can't put it away. Oh, it's a great reach in from Kovacic. It's a free ball. They need to kill this for Shava. Kill it, they do. Linus Weber belts it home. 23-21. And as I mentioned earlier, it's the icing on the cake if Vashava can win this with a completely changed lineup.
Very, very professional all around. Both coaches still working hard. Jotov Graben seems to have uh, completely forgotten now that his team have won the cup, and he seems incredibly focused on seeing this lineup win it in four. He might be about to get his wishes for Massimo Ekeli's part. Well, he and the assistant coach is still working very hard with all the players, delivering as much information as they can. The restart. That's a good hand on that ball from Kowalczyk. Can't put it away. Oh, nice set. Nice set. That is very well done from Pedovic. However, Vashava still in the driving seat here. Side outs will do it. Vizic to serve. Rabat looks as nervous as he did at the start of the match. Not a great pass from Grobelny. Gets the return ball and does really well with it. That's a horrible ball to hit. Coming across to your favoured hat, and it's got to go all the way across your body, and then you've got to time it right. He's timed it beautifully. Here we go. Match point arrives for Vashava. Double match point, really. They've already won the cup. Can they win both games? Chances. Here it is. This is to win it 3-1 for the second week in a row. And they've done it. Project Vashava right in front of that little pocket of fans. Win the match and win the cup. And the celebrations now can start in earnest. Well, you've got to say well played to that original Vashava lineup as well as the replacement team that came in. I think Piotr Graban got his game plan absolutely right. Last week they were, uh, well, seemingly unstoppable. This week they've been even better. And there we go. 3-1, 3-1. Project Vashava put this cup final to bed and win the Challenge Cup and win it handsomely. For Minfero Volimons, a disappointment on the night in front of the home fans. The, the script was comeback victory, golden set. The reality, unfortunately for them, was very different. Oh, it's good to see. Well played, Massimo Ekeli. Well played the, <laughs> well played the Monza bench coming through to shake hands with everybody but the uh, the Shava Duk boys and backroom staff can start to enjoy themselves now as we prepare for the cup final presentation we'll be staying with that here on Euro Volley TV I hope you can stay with us and nice to see from the Monza players they're, they're so good these pro teams at taking care of business as it were there we go. Mighty close in the end, but for Shava's blocking system, their, their blocking schedule was spot on, led by the mighty Yuri Semenyuk. Well, he was MVP in game one. I think it's probably going to be someone different in game two. But why well, just sharp hook? But you never know. And there's your final uh, route through to that last match. Shava beating the Finnish club. Kowali and then for Monza coming through against Galatasaray. And Monza must have come into this as marginal favourites given their form in the Credenbanker Superliga, but no. The winners are Poland's Project Vashava and Ukraine will be proud of this man, Yuri Semenyuk really did fly the flag.
and uh, as usual a group of traveling fans have made the journey polish fans really are very special indeed when it comes to their dedication to the team and the sport <laughs> i love that from semenya he's not a man that's easy to get smiles out of but he is over the moon and well played Modazzini, the youngster. The teenager came on and made some fantastic digs. Well, all these big venues well versed in rolling out the red carpet. Nothing doing for Stephen Marr tonight and his two Canadian buddies, Lucky and Schwartz. Good work from Jan Fille, the starting setter in this match. He put on a fine show. Marco Gaspari hoping that his Milano team can do a little better in the women's CEV Champions League quarter-final. That match on the way this week. We Well played team project Vajshavia. We are on our way to the presentation here on Euro Volley TV. Vajshava the victors in the CEV Challenge Cup. Great performance at home and I think that they were expecting a battle royale when they came here to Monza. And that's what it was in set one and let's be absolutely honest from four points up Monza probably should have won that opening set I think that would have made the game a very different one but no Vashava battled on and now the team photo with all the officials all the technical staff and a few of the fans thrown in Well, Monza have had some huge results in the Credenbanker Superliga this year. They've been a, a real handful for some of the top teams. But for whatever reason, 
they were just unable to deal with the organization and the key players for Project Warszawa and the team from the Polish capital got the job done in style so we are nearly ready for the presentation the first bit of silverware from the CEV European competitions for this season Volleyball Challenge Cup will be making its way back to Poland. They've been pretty dominant in club volleyball over the last couple of seasons in the men's side of the draw. Turkey for the women last year were reigning supreme, but I, I think Turkey are going to have their work cut out. Italy's club volleyball this year is very strong but we will see I can see the trophy there we go it's a wonderful moment when you get your hands on a on a big trophy on a big win Thanks for staying with us here on Euro Volley TV. We will be heading towards the presentation very shortly indeed. Well played to the Opiquot Arena here in Monza for putting on a fabulous show tonight. Second leg of this cup final. It didn't finish the way that the home fans were hoping. In fact, it was only really close in the opening set. <laughs> I love it. So, there we go. That's what it was all about over this last uh, couple of months. Well, photo opportunities are plenty at the moment for Vashava. And why not? The team making the most of this. And, and you have to do it. You have to do this as a pro player. You've got to make the most of these moments when they come along. And it looks to me like the players are determined to enjoy this. So we are set for the presentation. Thanks for staying with us here on Euro Volley TV. Here we go then, MVP first up. presentation party make their way up to the stage well there we go across the two games it is Yuri Semenyuk that gets the vote and the big Ukraine medal, all oh, two meters and 10 of him, is the Challenge Cup final 
MVP and it's an emotional moment for him for all sorts of reasons. Well played, Yuri. Absolute middle blocking masterclass. Nice touch, very nice touch. Semenyuk then is our Challenge Cup MVP. <laughs> Lovely. So officials from the city of Monza make their way to the stage for the presentation of the medals. CV delegate Gier de Dorplier heading up that VIP presentation party. The runners up medals for Mint Vero Voli Monza. Just didn't quite happen for them against Project Vosava. we go that's what Francesco Comparoni looks like without his face mask on well commiserations to the Monza team I think Eric Lubke put it very well in his uh, midweek press conference when he spoke about the fact that it was like running into a brick wall it was the the biggest match it was the toughest match they played certainly in the challenge cup against Vaishava last week well this week didn't get any easier did it Tom Abireta then the captain receives his runners-up medal Peravizic next Eric Lupke Proud moment for the young man stepping in from the junior squad to this senior team and getting some court time. Francesco Comperoni and Stephen Marr get their medals. Good job from the bench. Thought it was excellent from Nick Muranovic. And replacement Libero, Flavio Morazzini, was brave in defence. Gianluca Galassi takes his medal. Ran Takahashi with his medal. Gachopa of Brazil, even his magic couldn't get his team out of trouble tonight Gabriele Di Martino through the middle, starting Libero Marco Gagini and a very disappointed Arthur Schwartz takes his medal and Massimo Echili he wanted so much more from tonight, just couldn't quite find it with his team very gracious acceptance of the medals I have to say from Monza. Well played, gentlemen. The runners up in this year's CEV Volleyball Challenge Cup. Mint Vero Volley Monza. Classy stuff, boys. Classy stuff. Gabriel Di Martino and the rest of the team wondering when they should exit. <laughs> Tom Abiret has seen the funny side of it. They're waiting for the signal. You may step down, lads. There we go. Off we go. Make way for the champions.
once again. Chief of the City of Monza and CEV delegate uh, head to the stage. And our presentation committee. Alo Pilotto, Mayor of the City of Monza, the boss. The winners of the 2024 CEV Volleyball Challenge Cup, Project Warszawa of Poland. Along with their Ukraine middle blocker MVP Yuri Semenyuk. Captain and a very proud captain at that, Andre Vrona steps up onto the podium. his team prepare to receive the gold medals champions this season in the Challenge Cup Andre Vrana the captain to receive his medal first followed by fellow middle blocker and a veteran middle blocker Jakub Kovacic Puffing his chest out, Maciek Stepien, replacement setter. Did a good job from the bench to get it all back together in set four. Jan Fiele set beautifully in and out of system. But boy, did his hitters do a good job. Olympic champion, gold medalist from France, Kevin Tilly. Gets another gold round his neck. Number nine, played very well tonight. Bartolomi Boaj, MVP. Yuri Semenyuk hands the Ukraine flag to our CV delegate and Semenyuk collects his gold medal well done young man touching moment Arte Shapuk played brilliantly through the left side coming on from the bench number 13 Igor Grobelny let a few thunderbolts fly our two Libros, Jerzy Grzynski, followed by Damian Wojciech. Wojciech, former national squad player, 34 years of age now, did a good job tonight. Didn't see Taylor Avril of the USA on court. He gets his medal. As does Linus Weber. Good job opposite when he came on. And then finally, number 22, Gar Karol Borkowski. But a proud moment for this man. It's a first big title, a first big trophy for young Piotr Graban. Superb job with his team. And they came into this match, both games, with a fabulous game plan, executed to perfection. The medals are around the necks, and now it's time for that wonderful moment. As the trophy will be presented to our champions in the Volleyball Challenge Cup for 2024. <laughs> Captain Andre Vrona comes down to the floor to receive the Challenge Cup. Our champions for 2024 in the CV Volleyball Challenge Cup. It is Project Vashava. <laughs> Proper job. Congratulations to Vashava. It's another Polish victory on a European stage and a very special one for Piotr Graban and his team. Champions indeed. <laughs> no champagne quite yet. It'll be on its way very shortly, I imagine. So there we go, 
emotional scenes to conclude our coverage here from the Opie Quad Arena in Monza. Well done to the organisers. Well done to both our finalists. Congratulations to the winners, Project Vajjava. And of course, as always, well done to the CEV for putting on a fantastic show. But to the victors, the spoils. Project Vajjava are the champions. The CEV Volleyball Challenge Cup winners for 2024. Thanks for your company here on Euro Volley TV for the last couple of hours. From me, Simon Golding. I'll say goodbye for now and see you again very soon. Thank you.